So as you recall, we we uh, just built this motor spindle. We're going to be setting up two re-diameter reamers. So we need a tail stock that we're getting set up there. And we need to re-grind this tip. It's okay. I don't know where to go. It's about a foul out. So you basically have to go <clears throat> back and forth when you're trying to get a couple of tents out. You want to be climbing. You want to make sure the wheel's clean. And it's a real light cut. So you have to be patient because you're not taking much out. And plenty of bond wheels are not that sharp, so that's all we had to work with, so we're going to give it a shot. Let's just see if we're close here. So we just reset this motor up. <coughs> we indicated it for square and straight. We, with the wheel off, we touched off up here on the motor shaft, and then we just went down uh, half the diameter of this collet shaft, rather, to uh, center, and then mount it over here. I think we're pretty square, but we'll see how it works. It should sound out of the yeah, Okay. So this is the last of 10 of these. We're just cleaning up paper on a, uh, what is a 5C pollen aperture. And uh, this works, works really, really well. Oh, well, that's pretty close. Okay, I'm gonna measure that up and back in five. Okay, let's see what we got. I think it cleaned up pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna change it anymore. I'll emery paper that, that'll smooth that out, and there's not many other colors in there, it'll probably be pretty close to zero. So, good enough for it. Okay, measurement's good. We're experimenting with a new setup. The ringer was a little bigger at the top than at the bottom. So by sticking the ringer out, it allows me to adjust the center, the tail stock just a little bit. Bring it over, because I actually want the ringer a little bit bigger on the end by a I'm doing kind of a strange project, so. Let's see how this works. It should, uh, should be a little more sound at the top. And I'm only taking a couple of tents off, so. Yeah, it's quieting down with the bottom. I also noticed that the center was not quite so so I'm fixing that to oh, that sounds very really right. Okay guys, to set this up to grind um, secondary clearance on a reamer, we pull this arm out, it has a flat on that side, we flip this over, so we're on the round, and that allows us to clamp that at a bit of an angle, and using a very pointy rest, uh, come up and support the tool. And then you just pull it using the air bearing like you do on a regular end mill. Pretty straightforward setup. You want to make sure your spindle's locked in place at zero. That red uh, thumb screw right there. <clears throat> CBN wheel. You want your wheel to be nice and sharp. 
And you don't want too much of the reamer sticking out because it's going to want to vibrate. It's a, it's a thin tool and uh, light cuts. And you, ideally you want your margin to be, you know, 10 or 15 thou wide. Uh, so this one was a bit of a mess. We'll, uh, we'll grind it, we'll take a picture, and we'll show you when we're finished. Just grind just like an end mill, use the air spindle. Just pull it along. Move the next weight. Pull it along. Okay, we put the motor angle at about 14 degrees. Snug that up. Got the air spindle working. We're going to take just a couple thou off this thing. Remember, you want to be chucked up pretty short. You want a nice sharp wheel. And now we're just putting a little secondary back on this reamer. Because the margin got a little bit thick when we reduced the diameter. Pretty straightforward operation, just like an end mill. You want to make sure you load up to the top. Always make sure that your tool rest is right in line with the edge of the wheel, otherwise you won't get the angle you think you're going to get, and you can't reach the top of the tool. Anyway, just repeat this process till you get the grind that you like. So you can go in and come up on the rest, that way you know you've got the top. Pretty straightforward. Okay, the margin looks pretty uniform all the way down to the bottom from top to bottom and we now have a 400 thou diameter reamer for $19 uh, and there wasn't a long wait